since our candy canes from in-house genetics couldn't possibly get any taller, and since there's no room to squeeze on any more trichomes, this week we begin our newest harvest month by chopping a couple of these candy canes. We'll also check in on their replacements. Let's do this. Hey my friends, welcome back to the Viper Spectre 10. We're here under the Viper Spectre XS4000 and the Viper Spectre P2500. And below we have an assortment of young, lovely ladies. So let's go in here and take a closer look. Our teenagers here are comprised of five Blue Dream and one Bruce Banner. We got four Blue Dream here in five gallon pots of Cocoa Perlite, and they're gonna be staying right here in this tent to grow up big and strong. A couple here in soil are going elsewhere. And down here, we've got our newest recruits, or our, our next uh, phase here. These are the candy cane clones that I clipped off the plant outdoors. And you can see that they were already in flower, so we're gonna be doing some re-vegging. But they just came out of the air corner. They did have roots. They aren't, weren't the healthiest looking uh, cuts, but uh, they are what we had. So they have developed roots. So I'm thinking they should be fine. And there's more coming just in case these don't uh, make out, but these were the first ones out of the air corner. And so far they're doing just fine. We'll see how they uh, come out here, but um, so far so good. We're working with what we had. So back here, we can take a look. Now last week, we topped these girls, as you can see there. And they're doing as they're supposed to, splitting into a couple, spreading out, fattening out, looking around. Everybody is looking super duper healthy. Got a nice little shine to them. Nice color, everybody looks great. But I noticed that maybe it's time for a little bit of maintenance. So the second thing that I would normally do after the topping would be just uh, get rid of any blocking leaves. We're getting these great big uh, leaves here now. And in some of these cases, they're blocking some of these new sprouts that I'd rather be able to see the light. So at this point, it's time just to get rid of the blocking ones. Now at some point, very soon, probably next time I'm around here, I'll look at getting rid of the other ones just so we can focus more on this growth area. Now here she certainly is blocking with these two leaves here. So we do want to get rid of those. Open up the plant proper here and let these critters in here get a little more sun. She's a little bit different but still looking good. Now here she isn't blocking that much. We could possibly leave them but just for the sake of uh, you know, synchronicity. Flip that off, she's lovely looking. Nice configuration there, growing up tall and strong. Nice big thick stalk, looking good. Back here, we're gonna do the same. Comes on, comes up. Here, another one looking just super healthy, strong and thick. Ooh. Here we go. Looking good. Looking good, ladies. There we go. All right. So that's all we're going to need to do for now. In a couple of these cases, I'll look to come back and get rid of the other ones. I'll leave them there for now. I can flip them under here in the case if they're blocking in these particular cases. Put them down. And stop. There we go. Maintenance done for another little while. Uh, they've been vegging, uh, you know, coming on a couple weeks. We'll probably go for a couple more weeks and then maybe we'll think about flipping them before they get too tall this time, just for fun. All right, that's it for here. Let's go next door. I think I hear the pit. Oh, I did. Hey, Blitz. How you doing, buddy? Good morning, pal. Good morning, buddo. Hey, bud. Yeah, good morning. 
Holy moly, look at this. Over here, we have four candy canes from in-house genetics, and they are sitting under the Viperspectre KS3000, 300 watt fire array light from Viperspectre. There are discount codes for all these Viperspectre lights down in the description. Take a look at this. I haven't mentioned it yet, but today is actually the start of harvest month. And it is in fact a harvest day. In here we have the four candy canes. We'll go in and take a closer look. It's kind of fun in here. It's a bit like a jungle. Looking around, a lot of tall, fluffy, fuzzy stems. Just like that. And uh, last week I was mentioning that I was a little worried about the thickness of some of these very, very tall uh, stems here. As you can see, they are very, very tall. And in some cases, we got some pretty small buddage around them. But in a lot of cases, they're thickening up nicely like this one here. So I'm not so concerned. They are looking beautiful. The trichomes on these, like just crazy, crazy. Like, I don't know. But uh, beautiful, so uh, not concerned at all for these. They look beautiful. These particular ones, I'm, I'm looking with these white reaching pistols. I'm thinking I'm looking at close to a couple weeks before I'm harvesting these at least. Well over a week, I'd say. And then, as I mentioned, today is harvest day for at least a couple of these. And one of them is right there. Here, Blitz. You know I'm a seed over there. This one over here, who is just a completely different animal than the rest of these white fuzzy creatures. We got these beautiful little bulbous balls of bud just exploding with trichomes. And when you take a look at them under the microscope, there's a fair amount of amber. They are in the harvest zone. We're chopping today. The nice, interesting thing about this plant compared to the one behind me, which I'm also be chopping today, is these buds are very blue. They have a bluish hue. Kind of interesting in that the plants are very similar, but still different. And then we have the other three here in this tent that are just completely different. The tall white fuzzies, but they're looking good. They are looking good, tall, light, and fuzzy. They're starting to lean a lot more, getting a little heavier. And uh, like I said, probably a couple weeks for the three. And for that girl, today's the day. All right, we got one more. Hey, my friend. You betcha. Woo, baby, let's look at this one first. That's the candy cane. It was getting harvested today. Beautiful, lovely fat nugs on the nodes. And then we also have her sister back there. I dare say her, her uglier sister. She's a bit of a interesting looking creature, but uh, her buds are fat and up quite thick too. But uh, she's a bit of a fuzzy, fuzzy one. If you take a look at this fuzzy, hairy, leafy bud versus this bulbous block of blob bud but it takes all kinds and you never know you never know until you do the chopping and the testing so those are the two candy canes she is getting harvested today look at those trichomes craziness and then over here we have our four black domina let's take a look and speaking of crazy look at those just humongous cola buds just crazy that's the black domina from the company formerly known as the bseeds.com so there we have the four black domina they are probably on a similar time schedule as the three candy canes behind me meaning probably a couple weeks i would say as you can see still full of white reaching pistols and uh, yeah clearly still green they don't have the hardened look of these buds over here 
who are clearly ready for harvest. All right, that's it for now. GoPro, let's GoPro, stop recording. All right, it is time to harvest this beautiful candy cane from in-house genetics. All right, I'm gonna remove my little support system here. Something-ish, a little bit. to this one what a joy this will be to trim just very little excess leaf anywhere fan or trim so uh, just beautiful so we're gonna clip it and we're gonna hang it whole to dry because there's really not uh, you know my, like I said any extra on it whatsoever Unlike the Black Domina here, who will all want to trim because they'll just have so much moisture in them. Whereas these are just long and lean with those big bulbous buds. Okay, let's go. Thank you for your service, ma'am. Yeah. Just like that. So I did not give her that support, but she's actually fairly sturdy on her own. They were basically, didn't quite need the support, which I'm surprised, because she's a tall one. There you go. She's really quite beautiful. Lovely looking plant. That, very nice. All right, we're gonna go get to hanging this girl. And I got one more plant to chop. And now maybe I can move her big ugly sister there under the light a bit. All right, that's it. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, my friends, Blitz is here to give us that. Oh, okay. So Blitz has got. What? Well, Stella's here. Look, sweet Stella, charming in her, her most lovely dinner jacket. Stella's going to tell us that, unfortunately, for this week. That's it for now. Stella, you just gotta look into the camera and tell us. Oh, there you go. Here we go, watch out for, oh my goodness, what's Gracie up to back there? Gracie, you little devil. I don't know, Stella, I don't know what she was up to. Might have been a distraction, what do you think? All right, my friends, that's it for this week. Ah, uh, now we see what she was up to. See you next time.